Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here with the Sound of Silence reaction. We are musicians and here we are to react to the Sound of Silence by Disturbed, like their cover version of it. The Sound of Silence, aka the audience behavior of most of our shows. Oops, sorry, I just like freaking dropped the camera. You kind of, you didn't really carry my joke either. <laughs> sorry. But it's fine. You can continue. I, I, that was it, that's, oh. all I, that's all I had. <laughs> that's so true though, because no mm -hmm. one ever claps for us at our one show, it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Musicians react. Musicians react. Ah, so I mean, no, no, trying. no one knows the sound of silence like we do. Oh, yeah, honestly. Yep. Mm -hmm. At Classico on Tuesday night. Uh, uh, or our Spotify numbers. But, so here uh, we are yeah, to react it. to this right mm -hmm. now. Kind of looks like Classico on Tuesday night. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emotional. This is more like a. It feels like very, a movie soundtrack kind of thing. Very gripping. So if you don't know, Disturbed was like a rock band, like yes. a heavy, heavy rock band. Uh, the the first thing that jumps out to me is the articulation of the lyrics is more powerful in this than the original. I I would say. I would agree. It's almost like the Simon and Garfunkel one is like kind of become a meme <laughs> yeah i like can't take it seriously. right like, even uh, hearing like hello darkness my old friend i had to hold myself yeah yeah you have like bit. that's almost that's uh, jump the shark is a phrase but <laughs> it's kind of funny how it, it still somehow works in this setting just because of the gravity in which he's singing it yes it feels like we're in a mm -hmm. a movie like i'm i'm, like I'm a little thematic. worried for him that he was so easily able to bring me into his dark depressed world i know <laughs> it's like i'm right there with him now wild in restless dreams i walked alone narrow streets of cobblestone I think that the strings, like in the original, it's just like guitar and the two voices, but the yeah, strings for, like really elevate this song. For sure, in a very cinematic way. Yes. Kind of like we were talking cinematic. about uh, before, but still kind of acoustic piano guitar based. Mm -hmm. So really great arrangement job. Because I see a lot of times where like, I don't know, I think there are a lot of bands of this era that it's like, we're going to add strings and it's going to be huge and it's a production and we think it's going to work creed but it doesn't totally work i think here it's like it, it complements the sparsity of the arrangement which i think is really good and even kind of like you know the original you know when like the rest of the band kind of kicks in it maintains the chill dark vibe while still kind of giving it a little more energy so uh, i think they did an awesome job arrangement wise 
Yeah, I've never seen this before. Like, I've heard of it. I, I've seen this as a suggested video on YouTube a lot. This is, like, but a, a huge never... video, to be honest. Yeah, this, this has, like, 700, 700 million. Mil million. Like, it has almost a billion views. Like, that's crazy to me. It's that, crazy. Uh, but I guess I kind of I kind of get, get it, it now. You know what I mean? It's very... Like, like I said, I kind of want to just reiterate that the lyrics seem more impactful in this version at this tempo with this diction than kind of like the beautiful Simon and Garfunkel. The Simon and Garfunkel you know. one, it's like, it's kind of like a depressing song lyrically, but it doesn't sound like one. Yeah, and there's something about like, I don't know, people in, like, you know, Simon and Garfunkel was not of our time. Mm -hmm. it was definitely before our time where it's like... There's something a little... I, I, I feel like I'm going to flame, get flamed for this. Gonna, There's something lame about Simon and Garfunkel. There's something very dated and old school about them that we don't take seriously. But as a musician, specifically looking into Paul, Paul Simon's music specifically, no shade on Garfunkel, like, uh, he's just a, bril a brilliant writer that I almost kind of had to discover after the fact. Because I remember being a kid, I was like, this is like lame music my parents would listen to. <laughs> you know, like you see Garfunkel's Afro. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's not something I would be down with. But yeah, so kind of like getting into that music as an adult musician uh, has helped me kind of understand that he really is a genius writer. Who? And this is uh, Paul Simon. Again, I, you know, and I, I don't even, I'm not educated enough to know what Garfunkel wrote, what Simon wrote. But uh as someone who's really a big fan of Paul Simon's music and his writing specifically, uh, I think this really just kind of like focuses that these, you know, the poetry of his writing is really unassailable. I will say that was a very tenacious D moment. Fool say I you do not know. <laughs> that that kind of took me out of it for just a minute, but. This part is definitely more rock than or more rock. -ish. Definitely, I, I I really get heavy tenacious D vibes. I right feel like now. that's a bad thing to say, but I love the D. I love tenacious D. Am I the only one that gets tenacious D vibes and pentatonic acoustic guitar lick runs? Could just be me. That's fine. Powerful, that indeed. Was a ride. You know, Tim, I kept you disturbed for doing something. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to say out of their comfort zone, but definitely something they're not like known for. I, I definitely think they kind of took a risk, and I mean, you know, obviously, seven hundred million views later, paid off for sure. You know, and even someone like me is super late to the party on this. I don't even know when this came out. But I have I feel no like, idea. I feel like it takes it takes a few years to get to a billion views. You know. Yeah. So yeah, Tim of the Captain disturbed. His voice is very powerful. Yeah, definitely showing uh, their strength. The that they're just great 
musicians, you know, they can kind of do whatever style. That's a funny thing that people don't realize to think about like, but like heavy metal, heavy rock, you know, gent musicians, like they're good musicians. They can play whatever, you know what I mean? You could put these guys in like a bossa nova jam and they probably slay, you know, it's not like these guys only do the one thing, like they're all experts at their instrument. So and it just goes to prove, you know, they can tone it down. They can bring it down here. And they arranged it. Mm -hmm. There was like that moment at the end too that was like a, it felt like the perfect movie ending. It's bombastic. Is it the perfect ending? Is it the ending that you wanted though, Andrea? I mean, they're literally sailing across like a, a river of death. <laughs> <laughs> a river of silence. Yeah. Which again reminds us of our shows on Tuesday night at Pasco. Oh yeah. Be there. <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, it's not that bad. Is it not? It depends on the night. I feel like if it's in season or there's not. even a live version. I'm so curious what that sounds like. If people are interested in our take on that, let yeah. us know in the comments. So feel free, mm -hmm. I guess, to let us know what you want us to react to next, and if you want the live version of The Sound of Silence. Also, great band name, Disturbed. What a great band name. Agreed. You know, especially for the band that they are. What's, like, the most popular song? I don't even know. I don't know. Let's look it up on uh, Spotify. What's number one? Down with the Sickness. Anyway, so, like, I have never really heard them that much. So, mm -hmm. listening to that, I'm surprised that they were able to even <laughs> do a, such a stripped-down song. Hey, like I said, they're they're seasoned musicians. Yes, they're just probably, like, choosing to do their style because they like that the most, but they can probably do everything. Yeah, that's how good. That's how musicians work, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, feel free to let us know what you want us to watch next time, and we will see you in the next video.